favorite snake here in Florida is the canebrake rattlesnake. Canebrake rattlesnakes are a southern range of the timber, coming from the Appalachia extending into the southern portions of the United States. Found in Georgia and North Florida, in Florida they are found in the panhandle, living in hammocks, grassy areas, and mostly dry plains. These snakes here primarily feed upon rodents. Snakes being very important to the ecosystem do control 90% of the rodent population. The canebrake rattlesnake, which is a cousin to the timber rattlesnake, has very distinctive markings. The markings on these snakes are the canes that go over the back of the snake, extending over the spinal cord and coming down the side to the ventral scales. This pattern gives the snake the distinct name cane break. The cane break is a very large rattlesnake, but for the most part it is a very non-aggressive snake. Very timid, very shy. Only way this snake will actually bite if somebody tries to provoke the snake by teasing it or capturing it or even trying to kill it. The nervous system that's found in a reptile is different than that of a mammal. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. They are called echothermic animals. An echothermic animal's body temperature is determined by its environment. When you see a dead snake laying on the side of the road, well, it may not actually be dead. If you tried to pick up this animal, even though it may look stiff, it can still turn around and bite you. Depending on environmental conditions, the nervous systems of these animals actually will live longer than that of a mammal. So if you see a dead snake, leave it alone. The cane break, like any other rattlesnake, will control the flow of venom through the fang. They have large muscles that surround their glands to contract when biting into their prey. If the snake is angry or wants to protect himself, they may lunge out and strike at an animal or a person. A lot of times when these snakes bite, they will not give you the full amount of venom stored inside of the gland. Sometimes when these snakes bite, they can actually bite a person or an animal and not inject any venom. The three rattlesnakes which are found here in Florida, the pygmy, the canebrake rattlesnake, and the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, all have the same type of venom, which is a hemotoxin. When bitten by a pygmy rattlesnake, even if the snake gives you all the venom that's stored in his gland, it is not capable of killing an average human. If the canebrake or the eastern diamondback do that, they would actually have enough venom to kill at least six people. The venomous bites for most of these types of snakes are not fatal. Usually if a person can get to a hospital quick enough, they can get the antivenine to neutralize these types of snake bites. 
the hardest thing anybody's going to have to do related to a snake bite is trying to remain as calm as possible. That is the most important thing for any person to do is just to remain calm. The next thing you want to do is call 911 and get to a hospital.